Hi everybody, this is the Music Optimist, and today I'm talking about the second Panic at the Disco album, Pretty Odd. Um, or alternatively, Welcome to the Sounds of Pretty Odd, as it states on the cover. I know that it's technically called Pretty Odd, but you look at the cover, it says Welcome to the Sounds of Pretty Odd. So I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna review it as, even though I don't call it that and nobody else fucking calls it that. It's pretty odd. Um this is a really this is the the one that I really got into panic. Um, like I stated before with my fever you can't sweat out review. I <clears throat> heard nine in the afternoon was the first song ever. And watched their music videos of that, that Green Gentleman, Northern Downpour, those are the three songs. I think those are the the main three that have music videos. There's another one, Mad as Rabbits, I believe. And I remember I was I like begged my dad, I was like, I need, I need this album. I need it, please. No, my mom. I begged my mom for this one. I begged my dad for Live in Chicago, which I don't, I might talk about. I might, I don't know. But I was like, I need, I please, please, I need this. And my mom was like, she relented. She's like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get it for you. Calm the fuck down. And went home, loved the art. I was just like, this is, I'm, this is the best thing I've ever held in my hands. And it's the first album I, I've actually listened to. Um, funnily enough, when I first put it in, it's, oh, how how it's been so long. We are so sorry. And it's like, I was like, uh, skip. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about this. Or I think I listened to that and I was like, this is this is nice. This is nice. And how it transitions to the night in the afternoon. I was like, oh, shit. And then after that, every song that I really didn't know, I was like, skip, skip, skip. And uh, I was like, I'm doing a real disservice by not actually listening to this album. So I popped it back in, listened to it all the way around. A lot of the music, I, I like, Mad as Rabbits, I think was okay. Um, Falcon Around, I, I remember hating. Now I absolutely love. But back then, I was like, God, this song's so fucking annoying. And uh, now I can truly say... It's amazing. It's very different from the first album. Very different. Um, Ryan Ross is the writer. Um, he actually gets to sing a little bit with this one. Like he has a whole song to himself, um, "Behind the Sea," which is such a godly song. It's it's amazing. Like I can like picture and feel everything. Like as I'm thinking of the lyrics, just feel how I felt when I first heard the album, and. It has that effect on you. It's very much like religious. Like it's like, oh my god, it's, so, it's just soulful, um, and not like not the style of singing soulful, just like just how it affects you, and uh, very nostalgic for me. And their first, it's the same for um, members of Panic, but now their sound is very much changed. Where everyone was comparing them to the Beatles, comparing a lot of their imagery, their, you know, in the music videos, their sound to, like, Beatlesque. Not so much so like the Beatles, because Brendan Urie has a very distinct voice. Ryan Ross isn't trying to sound like the Beatles. He's sounding like Ryan Ross. But I can see why people would make those comparisons, see the similarities and everything. And... Sorry, my cat's like sneezing right now. Um, but it, it's a, it's such a it's such a departure from their original emo sound. There, the, everyone. I, that being said, like there's a lot of people that fucking like that love the first album because of its sound and still gave the second album a chance and loved it just the same, which is shocking to me. Like when you change up a sound for a band. Like, so drastically. It's mostly universally, like, just hated by everyone. Until people go back and they can appreciate it. Um, when they're not being immature douchebags. And I'm sure there's a lot of people like that. Like, I could have been like that if I had heard the, al the first album first. But I loved... I was, lucky, I was lucky enough to hear the second album first. And then go back and listen to the first album. And go, like, man, there's, like, a lot of... I can see what's similar. I can see what's different. Like the writing is what really does a fantastic job. Ryan Ross, my God, is a, an, an amazing writer. 
Sorry, I almost had a stroke there or something. Fuck me. Um, he's just losing Ryan and John from the band. After this, they split up. And it was like, oh, no. Because Ryan is such a great writer. And it's like, we're losing something. We're losing a big chunk of what's what makes Panda so good. But with the loss of Ryan and John, we got our exclamation point back. And this... You know, because it's so different, they didn't put the the exclamation point after Panic. And a lot of people were upset about that, too. <laughs> I remember that being like, put the point back in Panic. You know, put the exclamation point back in Panic. And I don't actually think that was a real thing, but I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were like, this is fucked up. <laughs> How dare you? I know, I know I personally was like, I missed the exclamation point. It sets, it sets things, it sets them apart from other bands. But, like, they didn't need the exclamation point. They don't need the, the sound that they were going for. Like, it's just it's just such a... It's... I can... Like, when someone tells me their favorite album is pretty odd and not Fever You Can't Sweat Out, that's probably, like, their second. I get it. Because this album is, is masterful. It's just as good as the first one. Like, on different levels, on different things that... Like, with different things that they're doing... It's just a great, it's just a great album, and I'm rambling again. I'm trying to reach for more things to talk about because I want this video to have the, to give the album the respect it deserves because it deserves so much, but I'm going to stop now, and I'm going to move on, um, and in this video, um, if you like Panic! The Disco, if you like any of the songs off of this album, you know, go ahead and talk about it um, in the comments. I love having a discussion about the things that I review, um, unless I hate it, which I haven't yet. There's been no pessimistic videos. So cross your fingers for that. I'm hoping to make it like 10 straight weeks of no pessimism, which is easier said than done because it, it'll happen eventually. I'm kind of pessimistic in these videos as it is, but that's it. Um, you guys have a good one and stay pretty odd.